In this video, I will be discussing the branch accounts under stock and data system when the goods are sent at cost price. Uh, for the other methods of recording branch accounts, I have uploaded separate videos. The link I have given it in the description box. Do watch that video. Now let's move on to this video. Okay, before we move on to the problems under stock and data's method, it is first necessary to understand the format. So under stock and data's method, we will open various ledger accounts. The first ledger account that we will open is branch stock account. This branch stock account is an asset. Okay, if the value of asset increases, we will debit it. If the value of asset decreases, we will credit it. This is the logic. So we will record all stock related transaction in this account. And also, if the value of stock increases, we will debit it. If the value of stock decreases, we will credit it. Okay. Then the first item that we will record is opening stock. For all assets, the opening stock will be recorded in the debit side only. So to balance brought down, we will record the opening stock. Then if the head office is sending goods to the branch office, what will happen? The existing stock will increase because stock comes into the business, isn't it? So stock will increase. If the value of stock increases, we have to debit it. So two goods sent to branch. Write the amount in the amount column. Then if the customers returns goods, there are possibility that there may be sales returns. The customers may return the goods to us. So if the customer returns goods also, what will happen? the value of stock will increase because the goods comes into the business. The customers are returning. So the goods comes into the business. So it has to be recorded in the debit side to branch debtors account. This is goods returned by customers. The customers are returning goods. Write the amount in the inner column. Then the branch will make sales. It will be when it makes sales. What happens? The value of stock comes down when sales happens. Goods goes out of the business. So the value of stock goes down. So the sales may be either cash sales or it may be credit sales. So by cash by branch debtors. This branch debtors is nothing but credit sales. OK, we will write the amount in the amount column. So when we make a cash sales or when we make a credit sales, what happens? The value of stock comes down. So we will record it in the credit side. Then if the uh, branch is returning goods to the head office, that is goods are returned by the branch to the head office. What happens? The value of stock will come down because branch is sending away goods. So by goods returned by branch that will be recorded in the credit side. And finally, we will record closing stock by balance carry down. Then we will tally the account, find the balancing figure. The balancing figure may be in the debit side or in the credit side. Wherever we get the balancing figure, we have to transfer that to branch profit and loss account to branch profit and loss account within bracket B dot F. If you get the balancing figure in the debit side, it is profit. If you get it in the credit side, it is a loss. So I hope you understood branch stock account. The next account is branch debtors account. Branch debtors is also an asset. So if the value data, if the value of debtors increases, we will debit it. If the value of debtors decreases, we will credit it. And the opening balance, as I already told you, the opening balance of all assets will be in the debit side. So to balance brought down, we will record opening value of debtors. Okay. When the branch makes a credit sales, what will happen? The value of debtors will increase because say the existing debtors is 10,000 rupees. Now the branch is making a credit sales of some 20,000 rupees. So what will be the total value of debtors now? 30,000 rupees. So whenever the branch makes a credit sales, the value of debtors will increase. So credit sales will be recorded in the debit side. Then in the credit side, whenever the debtors pays cash, if the debtors are paying cash, what happens? The value of debtors will get 
reduced because there were 30,000 datas, 10,000 datas paid cash. So the existing datas will be only 20,000. So when the datas are paying cash, the value of datas will get reduced. So we will record it in the credit side. Then data expenses by expenses. What are the expenses? Bad debts, discount, allowances, etc. All these are data related expenses and this will reduce the value of data. So we are recording it in the credit side. Then if the datas are returning goods, goods returned by customers, if the customers are returning goods, that will decrease the value of datas. We will record it in the credit side. And finally, we will record closing stock, sorry, closing datas by balance carried down. And finally, you will tally the account in branch data's account, either opening balance, cash collected from data's or closing balance. Any one information will be missing and that will be your balancing figure. If all the information is given, your branch data's account will get tallied. Okay, then the next account that you will open is branch expenses account. So this branch expenses account is a nominal account. All expenses and losses should be debited. So in the debit side, we will record all expenses to all expenses. For example, rent to salaries to bad debts. Likewise, this is a nominal account. We will record all the expenses in the debit side. Finally, write the amount in the amount column. Finally, you will tally the account. The balancing figure will be in the credit side and that will be transferred to branch profit and loss account by branch profit and loss account within bracket B dot F. So we will tally the account. Okay, so branch expenses account is very simple. It is a nominal account. So all expenses will be recorded in the debit side, tally the account, bring the balancing figure to the credit side and it will be transferred to branch profit and loss account. Then the last account is branch profit and loss account. So branch profit and loss account is very, very simple. When you're doing the branch profit and loss account, you don't have to refer to the question. You have to refer to your answer. Okay. First check in the branch stock account. You will transfer one amount to branch profit and loss account. If you're transferring it in the debit side, then bring it to the credit side by branch stock account we will write the amount in the amount column. Whatever amount that we have got here is the balancing figure that we will record it. Then in the branch data's account, we will not transfer anything to branch profit and loss account. Here in the expenses account, we are transferring to branch profit and loss account. So bring it to p and account to branch expenses account. Write the amount in the amount column, tally the account, your balancing figure will be transferred to general profit and loss account. If you are getting it in the debit side or in the credit side, it will be transferred to general profit and loss account within dot within bracket B dot F. So this is the format for preparing stock and data's uh, system. First, you will open branch stock account where you will record all stock related transactions then branch data's account, branch expenses account and branch profit and loss account. So this is the format for preparing branch accounts under stock and data system. Okay, now let us understand how to work out a branch account with the, with the help of a problem. This is the question that I have taken. Ganesh Traders Bangalore has a branch at Madras to which goods are sent at cost price to be sold for cash and credit. So the question is given and we have to prepare branch stock account, branch debtors account, branch expenses account, P&L account and branch bank account. So the first account that we will prepare is branch stock account. All stock related information will be recorded here. And as I explained you in the format, if the value of stock increases, we will debit it. If the value of stock decreases, we will credit it. And since branch stock is an asset, the opening balance will be recorded in the debit side. See the first item stock on 1191. This is opening stock. So this will be recorded in the debit side. 
to balance brought down we are recording opening stock 27000 okay then debtors this will not affect brand stock bank balance also will not affect the stock account then cash sales sales is being made when sales is made what happens goods goes out of the business when stock goes out the value of stock decreases so we are recording it in the credit side by cash sales by cash account it is 14,400 then goods returned by customers the customers when we make sales cash stock goes out when goods are returned by customers stock comes into the business the value of stock increases so we are recording it in the debit side to branch debtors account the debtors are returning goods so to branch debtors account it is 540 this is nothing but the goods returned by customers discount allowed to customers will not affect stock account cash remitted to head office will not affect wages and salaries miscellaneous expenses will not affect stock account the next is stock on 31191 this is closing stock closing stock will be recorded in the credit side and closing stock should be recorded as the last item so we don't know whether we have any other item in the credit side so i am leaving space by balance carry down and recording closing stock as the last item 19260 then goods sent to branch the head office is sending goods to the branch office so stock comes into the branch the value of stock increases it will be recorded in the debit side to goods sent to branch account it is 54000 okay then goods returned to head office when the head office is sending goods value of stock increases we are recording it in the debit side when the branch is returning goods to the head office value of stock comes down so we are recording it in the credit side by goods returned by branch it is 1080 then credit sales when sales are made whether it is cash or credit sales stock goes out of the business we are recording it in the credit side by branch debtors account the amount is 72,000 in the amount column then cash collected from customers bad debts rent rates and insurance paid by head office all these things will not affect branch stock account now we will tally the account the credit total is more than the debit total it is 1 lakh 40. I am writing the same total on the debit side and the balancing figure that I get is 25,200. This is transferred to branch profit and loss account within bracket B.F. This is the balancing figure. Okay, this is how we will prepare stock account. The next account we are preparing is branch debtors account. Debtor is also an asset. So if the value of debtors increases, we will debit it. If the value decreases, we will credit it. And as usual, all assets, the opening balance will be recorded in the debit side. So we are recording opening debtors. See the second statement, debtors on 1191. This is opening debtors. It will be recorded in the debit side. To balance brought down it is 9000 okay then bank balance this will not affect debtors account cash sales will not affect debtors account goods returned by customers when the customers are returning goods if the debtors are returning goods to the extent of the goods returned their value will decrease so we are recording it in the credit side by goods returned by customers it is 540 then discount allowed to customers when we are allowing discount to customers the value of uh, debtors will come down so we are recording it in the credit side by discount the amount is 1320 okay then cash remitted to head office wages and salaries miscellaneous expense stock goods sent to branch goods returned to head office all these things will not affect debtors account come to credit sales 
when credit sales is made what happens the value of debtors will increase so we are recording it in the debit side to to credit sales write the amount in the amount column it is 72000 then cash collected from customers customers means debtors if the debtors are paying money to us the value of debtors will come down so we are writing it in the credit side by cash it is 66000 then bad debts written off some debtors has been identified as bad they won't pay the amount to us so we are writing them off it will decrease the value of debtors so we are recording it in the credit side by bad debts the amount is 780 then rent rates and insurance will not come affect the debtors account now find the total the debit total is more than the credit total it is 81000 so i am recording 81000 on both the debit side and the credit side the balancing figure that i get is 12360 and this is the value of closing debtors by balance carry down within bracket b dot f in this question closing debtors is not given so we get it as a balancing figure while we prepare branch debtors account so i hope you understood how to prepare branch stock account and branch debtors account the next account that we have to prepare is branch bank account preparing bank account is very simple we have to debit what comes in credit what goes out whenever cash comes into the business we will debit it whenever cash goes out of the business we will credit it so that is the rule based on this rule we are going to prepare branch bank account okay so see the first entry it is stock on 1191 which will not affect the branch bank account then debtors this also will not affect opening balance of bank is given so bank is also an asset so for all assets the opening balance will be recorded in the debit side so to balance brought down it is 8400 okay then cash sales so when sales is made what happens cash comes into the business stock goes out of the business and cash comes into the business so it will be recorded in the debit side it increases the value of cash it cash comes into the business so it will be recorded in the debit side so to branch stock account it is 14400 then goods returned by customers discount allowed to customers will not affect cash account then cash remitted to head office so the branch is submitting cash to the head office so what happens cash goes out of the business and who is receiving the cash head office is receiving the cash so i will write it as by head office account it is 75000 then wages and salaries we make payment when we make payment cash goes out of the business so you will record it as by wages and salaries it is 1200 then miscellaneous expenses again when we make a payment for expenses cash goes out of the business so you will record it in the credit side by miscellaneous expenses it is 600 rupees then stock closing stock will not affect goods sent to branch goods returned to head office credit sales will not affect cash account then cash collected from customers the customers are paying cash to us so cash comes to the comes into the business when cash comes into the business it will be recorded in the debit side to branch debtors account it is 66000 then bad debts written off will not affect cash account rent rates and insurance paid by head office here the branch is not making the payment the head office is making the payment so this when this expense is made the cash does not goes out of the business see wages and salaries and miscellaneous expenses paid by the branch so cash goes out of the business we are recording it in the credit side 
but rent rights and insurance is paid by the head office so cash does not goes out of the business we are not recording it okay now tally the account the total debit total is more it is 88800 i am writing the debit total in the credit side also 88800 and the balancing figure is 12000 this is the closing balance by balance carry down within bracket b dot f okay then the next account that we will prepare is branch expenses account branch expenses account is very simple we will follow the rule of nominal account debit all expenses and losses so we will debit all expenses see in the question goods returned to here discount allowed to customers is a expense so we are writing it in the debit side we have to debit it to discount and we will write the amount in the amount column 1320 then cash remitted will not come wages and salaries is an expense we will record it in the debit side to wages and salaries the amount is 1200 then miscellaneous expenses to miscellaneous expenses it is 600 then see bad debts written off is given that also we will record it to bad debts it is 780 and the last one rent rates and insurance paid by head office so to rent rates and insurance it is 1500 that's all tally your account the total is 5400 i am recording the total on both the debit and the credit side and the balancing figure will be transferred to branch profit and loss account so by branch profit and loss account within bracket b dot f balancing figure so branch expenses is a nominal account debit all expenses and losses and the balancing figure will be transferred to branch profit and loss account okay. now moving on to the last account it is branch profit and loss account branch profit and loss account is very simple you don't have to look into the question at all we are going to bring the transferring back that is the balancing figure in branch stock account we have transferred the balancing figure to pnl account and in branch expenses account we have transferred the balancing figure to pnl account so here i have written it here these are the balancing figures which we have transferred and in the branch stock account we had a credit balance that is the credit balance was more than the debit balance and we have written this 25200 in the this 25200 was written in the debit side of the branch stock account now when you transfer it here you will bring it to the credit side by branch stock account it is 25200 and branch expenses account we had a debit balance the debit balance was more than the credit balance and we have written it in the credit side of the branch expenses account so when we are transferring it you will write it in the debit side to branch expenses account it is 5400 okay only these two amount we will record because in branch debtors account the balancing figure was closing debtors and in the branch bank account the balancing figure was closing balance of bank only from branch stock account and branch expenses account we have transferred the balancing figure to the branch profit and loss account now tally your account see the credit total is more here 25200 credit total is more than the debit total so i am writing 25200 on both the sides on the balancing figure that i get is 19800 this will be transferred to general profit and loss account within bracket b dot f 
so that's it this is how we have to work out branch branch accounts under stock and debtors method when goods are sent at cost price so i hope you understood how to work out the problem thank you for watching